I'm Leslie Lopez, and I am a producer and the chief operating officer at Recon Productions. I started around the age of seven or eight, I can't actually remember, um, and I started in acting, kind of accidentally as an actress. Um, I did films for about a year and a half or so, and then middle third grade, I was like, well, this isn't for me, <laughs> and I left. I went back into the, the industry. I started as a assistant for a below the line agent, and then I moved into feature films by interning, uh, which is like boot camp to learn everything that you need to about how to make a film. Uh, then I kind of went from gig to gig, and then I ended up at a production company that did a lot of commercials for uh, international clients, and I worked with uh, them for a couple of years before I met John Michael Kondrath on a set for The Leading Man in 2012, and then I kind of stayed with Recon ever since. I would consider one of my female inspirations in the industry to be uh, Mary Pickford. Uh, she was an actress, she was America's sweetheart, um, and then she was also a founder and original partner of United Artists. Mary Pickford started her career in 1900. She was about eight years old. Uh, she started as an actress in a local theater in Canada. Um, she did that for a little while, and then she went into a touring vaudeville group uh, that toured the United States, uh, kind of up until she was about a teenager. Uh, she then moved to New York City. She was trying to make it big on Broadway. She got a role on Broadway, and then to make extra cash, she went to Biograph and walked up to D.W. Griffith and told him she wanted a job. Uh, and she, she started acting in pictures, I think that very day, actually. Um, she started pictures in 1909. Um, she was in hundreds of films. Most of them have actually been lost uh, since then. But she became a producer of her own films. She had a lot of creative control comparative to even other actors, not, not even talking about women, but just other actors of the era. Um, and in 1919, she... Uh, co-founded United Artists with D.W. Griffith, uh, Charlie Chaplin, and Douglas Fairbanks a full year before she had the right to vote in this country, established a company and like had been working for a good 12, 15 years of her life and making money. Like Mary Pickford went from making, I believe it was something like $50 a week to making $10,000 a week by the time that she established United Artists. And she did it entirely based off of the fact that she asked for it. Um, and she kind of demanded it. And that that's crazy in itself because like women still have a hard time doing that today and, and spent the next 40 years of her career deciding what pictures she was going to put her name to. You know, I, I really am not sure when I learned about Mary Pickford. She's always kind of been part of the consciousness of everything I know. I mean, I grew up outside of LA. I, I grew up on film sets on some level. So maybe that's why she's always kind of been part of what I'm doing. So Mary Pickford and I have weird interactions with each other. We started in the industry at the same age. Uh, I didn't keep going in acting like she did. Um, but, but we were both about eight when we went into it. Then my first real job uh, was at a United Artists movie theater when I was in high school. Um, my second full-time type position in the industry was actually on the original Douglas Fairbanks uh, Mary Pickford lot, which is now called The Lot uh, in Hollywood. And my, my office was in the Mary Pickford building. And I definitely recall texting a friend of mine the first day I got there and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm working in the Mary Pickford building. This is maybe the coolest thing. And the response to me was, I don't know who that is. And I was very sad. Um, but, you know, I, I worked in her building. And then from there, strangely enough, uh, she became a partner at United Artists at the age of 27. Um, and I joined Recon at the same age. So there's just this very strange parallel with each other where I just can't help but feel that she laid out a path over 100 years ago and I seem to be slightly following the same path. Um, I think Mary Pickford has impacted my career in, in the way that she's just kind of always been present. Um, you know, I think on some level working on the lot 
and working in the Mary Pickford building um, gave me, led me a lot of legitimacy that I, I wasn't entirely, I think, aware that I was seeking, but all of a sudden I was. I was on, on this lot that is full of movie history and filmmaking history, and, and not only is it where what filmmaking really was established in, in Hollywood, um, it, it also just so happened to be run by a woman, or partially run by a woman, um, who was just always there. And I think that that made a big difference to me without realizing it. Like, I think it was very subconscious um, to be like, oh, I can do this because she did it. And it was so long ago. Like, there's no, there has never been any question about me being able to do anything that I've been doing. Um, because women have been part of film history since the inception of film. So like, why wouldn't we be a part of it? Mary Pickford is a big deal <laughs> to the film industry. She, she's part of the reason that the industry established itself the way that it did. She was one of the original pioneers of film that moved from New York to LA. She, she made Hollywood a place to be. Being the first person or the first woman to be billed as an actress and use her name and being recognizable because of that, establishing United Artists um, with, with her partners, making the amount of films and the types of films that she did, um, working with a female scriptwriter, uh, winning an Academy Award for one of her first talkies. Um, she was one of the establishing founding members of the Academy. Like she's, she's somebody who established so many of the ideals and institutions that we have in Hollywood that it's crazy that it, she was a woman she, and, and that she was so young most of the time too um, and surrounded almost entirely by men. I think it's important that Mary Pickford was a woman to me particularly just, I mean, again, because she, she clearly put a path in front of any woman that really wanted to be in the industry and said, this is what you can do. I don't know that she would recommend doing it all the exact same ways that she did, um, but I, I do think that she was forging a very distinct path. So I think it impacted Mary Pickford to be a woman in the industry at that time a lot. There's this quote from Charlie Chaplin, and he definitely at one point said, you know, Mary knows all the contracts. She knows what's in them. She can tell you what's on page seven and what's in paragraphs 6D and can give you all the numbers and the sums and the facts. She's got a great, you know, mind for business. Which would be great if that was the end of the quote, um, but he followed up with, it's too bad that she's a woman. Um, and, you know, that's super telling in terms of the fact that it's just, it wasn't becoming in a woman to understand all of that. If Mary Pickford could give me a piece of advice today, I think she would say, keep your chin up. Uh, and look them in the eye and always smile when you're saying anything. Uh, and remember that making pictures is a lot of voices, it's a lot of people, but don't forget that you have your own voice as well. I would give women starting their career in film the advice to not be afraid of communication. That, and that's, that's not just communication, the one way that you think about it. it, it absolutely take hold of your voice and don't forget to use it. Ask for things, um, tell people what, what you're feeling or what you need or where you wanna be going. Um, but also the other side of it, which is the listening. The listen to what people are saying, listen to how they're guiding you, listen to how they communicate on what's happening in the industry that you've decided to be a part of. Um, it's, it's a lot of give and take, and I would say that as a young woman coming up in film, it's a great way to learn, but it's also a way to not lose yourself and, and to not be afraid of communication, I think, is one of the biggest aspects that's helped me along the way. So I think that's what I would tell them.